Hello there, this is Andrew McKennan for The Beer In where there's no last orders. Today, it's a little bit different. I tried to make the video before, but it was going on a bit long. So I've opened this already. I've got Hobgoblin. And what's my review of it? But before we start, another part of this video is, if you're thinking of driving your car after you've had a pint, after getting a can of beer that I've reviewed, don't bother because it's not worth it. I'm going to put a link in here to the Black Belt Barrister, Daniel Shen Smith Law in Litchfield. He does a few videos and I watch him daily. He's very good. I get all my legal guidance from him. So I won't be driving my car today. I won't even be going in it. I won't even be pressing the button or turning the key. Because the second I press that button to get in and I put my head in there, if the police suspect that I'm over the limit and they happen to be coming down the road, I'll be done for being in charge of a motor vehicle. But if I'm in that car and I turn that key, I'll be done for drunk driving or whatever. So. I hope that Daniel will correct me there, Black Belt Barrister. I'm sure that I've got it right by now because there's a, he's done a few videos. But I will put a link to his channel in the bottom. Please like and subscribe. Help my channel grow. Like everybody else on YouTube would want you to. Anyway, I've started this now. It's a bit different to what I said today because I tried to make the video before. But... Something went wrong. Anyway, it's a ruby coloured ale. Still got the clarity. You can see my finger through there and you can see ruby colour. Aroma. A sort of a malt flavour, sort of a malt smell. And on the uh, thing, Let's get that right. Brewed with roasted malts for a well-balanced, rich, smooth taste. Full of mischievous, mischievous character. And it's 4.5% ABV. So if you're thinking of going to the pub tonight, walk there. I've got a pub just up the road from me called the White Line Brankert. It's only about a mile, a mile, something like that, to get there, three quarters of a mile. I'm going to walk there. If I wanted to go in, I'd just walk in. Anyway, so what do I think of Hobgoblin? Mm, not bitter, which is okay, because if it's too tangy, it's a bit... Ugh, bah. So, anyway, quite nice. Probably would have had this at the beer festival because you don't see it in pubs these days. Usually it's in a cask and coming out of a beer engine where the pump, well, you should know if you're into that sort of thing. Anyway, like your ales, um, how they work and everything, where they come from. Anyway. There might be the odd pub here and there that has it. And I used to help at the campsite at the bonfire night and when they had the bar there, they'd have a cask of that. Anyway, so. It's a nice leisurely drink. I'd be able to sit down and, you know, like, sit in a pub and just do what I wanted to do, whether it's just sitting down drinking it or whether I was reading as well or something. Yeah. So I'm going to paste Black Belt Barrister's link at the bottom. Please go and see him and subscribe to him. And also please subscribe to me. I'm Andrew McKenna. This is the beer in where there's no last orders. Cheers. And in the next one, we'll see about doing Guinness Draft Start 
and then another one after that we'll see about doing guinness draft and then experiment to surge it so all the bubbles come down rather than having to buy surger or an ultrasonic cleaner okay cheers from the beer room